Unbelievable. It is the last day of August, 2018. Thank you for coming by my YouTube site, Tori Magoo 44. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you if you're new here, I was in Scientology for 30 years, escaped out in 2000, have made over 800 videos that are on this channel, and you're welcome to watch them. They're educational with the intention to let you know part of their dark side that they won't tell anybody. You know, they're all perfect when you listen to their side. We all say, look at both sides, make up your own mind. Because we know if you really learn both sides, you'll never walk in there and become a member. And uh, that's nothing against the members. There's a lot of nice, good people that are Scientologists, but unfortunately they are run by a group of people that really, really are bad news. And uh, <clears throat> anyway... There's a lot of abuse that goes on, and I've spoken about it, and it's in other videos. So that is not this video. This video is to let you know about a party that we're having, and you are invited. Everyone's invited. It's Janice Grady and friends. <coughs> there, excuse me, I have a frog in my throat, if you can't tell. It's going to be September 22nd is really the actual event day. But some people are coming on the 21st and staying till the 23rd. So it just depends on how you want to do it. If you can, you're invited. It's mainly on the 22nd. Um, there are going to be a bunch of authors that are going to be there. I'm going to name some that we're hoping are there. We're pretty sure they've said they're going to be there. Janice is going to be there for sure. Janice Grady. And she's announcing her second book, the, the release of her second book. Mark Hadley, the all-time great, I love his book, Blown for Good, which is amazing. Ben Corden hopefully can come. I'm not sure on that one, but he originally wrote uh, L. Ron Hubbard, Messiah or Mad Men and took a lot of grief from the Church of Scientology and is still surviving and doing well. So hopefully he can come. Jeff Hawkins is supposed to be there, who also wrote a book. Chris Shelton, uh, Kay Rowe, Nancy Maney. John Dugan, I think, it, Dunnigan, that's it. And unfortunately, Lori Hodgkin cannot because of the fires. She was going to. Um, but you can find her videos online. And if I said any of your names wrong, I'm sorry. If I missed any names, just pop them into the comments. Um, I didn't mean to. Um, anyway, that's, that's going to be that day. And they're going to do book readings from their books. They're going to do, um, they're going to sell books, obviously. You can buy a book there. Um, and the other thing is they're going to do book signings, right? And then in the evening, we're going to have a dinner. It's a $50 dinner. You have to be paid up within one week before the dinner. The, the dinner is going to be on the 22nd, so a week before in advance. It's a sit-down dinner. It's going to be a lovely dinner. And then also... Um, Janice is going to do a slideshow and acknowledge a bunch of people that um, she wants to acknowledge and have, and it's never before photos of photographs that we haven't seen. They already, in her first book, if you haven't seen it, she has a lot of photographs that I certainly never saw. And it's really great to see them. It's a real walkthrough on how that whole family got into Scientology. It's pretty amazing in itself. Now book two is going to be even better because it's, I think it's when she's on the ship. Um, she may have been, I haven't finished the book on book one, so she may have been on the ship in book one. But I'm still reading about the family and coming overseas in a ship by them. You know, it's just amazing. The kids went by themselves ahead. It's, it's an amazing story. Anyway, she's going to um, release her second book. And also there's a special guest who's going to have a special announcement. So we'll have to see what that is. Uh, she also said that uh, the Suncoast Hotel and Casino, the next day, which will be Sunday, there's going to be a buffet for anybody who'd like to, <clears throat> you know, to come by, see each other, and then say goodbye. And that'll probably be the end of it. But anyway, it sounds like a wonderful weekend, and you all are invited. It's, it's a, everyone's invited, and um, I think you would email Janice, Janice Grady, on Facebook, and if you're seeing this, you probably can get on Facebook. And at the worst, let's see, you could send me, I, I'm really bad with, <clears throat> let's see, I'm trying to think. Janice Grady, um, I think she's, let me just check one thing, because I know she has an email account also. Okay, let me just make sure if I can read what it is. 
I just have Janice. So it doesn't it doesn't really have her actual email. You can send it to me at torychristman44 at gmail.com and put please put in the subject Las Vegas party, you know, because then I'll see it. Scientology is always trying to spam everything, you know, of mine. It's really funny. I mean, one thing, if you missed it, Ron Miscavige, the father of David Miscavige, and I did an interview last week. And normally, you know, with my videos, there's a couple of people that don't like it. Most people do, or they say nothing. Now with Ron Miscavige's, there's 171 likes and almost 500 dislikes. So somebody's working that line. And thank you so much. I mean, I'm kind of amazed at them that they don't get, that's like shining a spotlight on something saying, don't look at this, right? And don't look at it. Don't watch the video. Be careful on it. And you can look at it under the real Ron Miscavige. That's his. Or my Tori Christman, my Facebook site. I've got it posted there. I can't put it on YouTube because I don't know how. That's the only reason why I can't. But anyway, it's a really good interview. And obviously, David and a few of his buddies do not want to see it. I'm not sure if it's David or just people freaked out that if he does see it, he'll have a heart attack. But either way, somebody doesn't like it. And so thank you so much, Scientology. It's always good to know what you hate <laughs> and prove, you know, we're doing the right thing. So anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful and a safe Labor Day weekend. Remember, there's a lot of police out on this weekend trying to keep people safe and catching people who are driving and drinking and stuff like that. So just make sure you drive under the speed limit. You don't drink if you've been driving. If you did have something to drink, have some a designated driver or take an Uber or um, the other one. You know, either one of those, you know, the, the, where you can just grab it. Okay, so there you go. I hope you have a happy Labor Day weekend for the people in, <clears throat> excuse me, in America. And the rest of you just have a great weekend. All right. I love you. Thank you. End of 2018. It's been a great summer. All right. Bye-bye.